Well, the, I guess the number one thing is the remote access that you can access from anywhere you want. In the olden days, the echo would be done. It would be put on a tape or a disc. The tape or disc would sit in the echo tech's room until the paperwork got done. Once the paperwork got done, it would sit on my office desk until I got here. If I was in this office today, I would get to it. If I wasn't in this office today, uh, I would get to it tomorrow or the next day whenever I got back here. Now the tech does the echo. She uploads it. No matter where I am, I can read it. As long as I have a good quality monitor in front of me, I have good quality images. It's very easy for me to access, whether it be on a hotel, a hotel computer, my own computer, so I, 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 can, I can take my work with me, which is useful since I am the primary reader for, for many of the hospitals that, that our company provides service to. Even with the compression that's used, um, the, the video quality is very comparable to uh, the DICOM standards with the, the big PAC systems. You know, one of the real advantages is that if I'm out of town uh, and we do images, uh, I can read them um, wherever I am, and that's a, a real advantage. Well, I was visiting, I mean, I'm actually going again, and last time when I was up there in Karachi, I accessed the core website and uh, looked at the few studies and completed my studies up there from Pakistan. And actually, I think it's not a bad idea to, you know, people can do studies up there, we can read it here, or people can do studies here, we can read it up there. No? That's good.